Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, all appropriate ages, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be, as always. How are you all doing today? It's Monday, it's the beginning of the week. No set of night wave challenges for all of those that are still, for some reason, doing them. Uh, how's everyone doing? How's everyone getting along with farming the new path assist weapon with the boss that we just got? Because I'm not having that much fun. I've got four blueprints, two subcortexes, and one blade. <laughs> Seven times, and I still haven't built this bloody thing yet. Or got all the parts for it. Where you at, girl? Still waiting to see what people want to oh, say to change your name you to. That? It said. Cosmic background radiation is a riot! Be quiet, Audis. So, what are the challenges for those people today? Welcome. And by the way, I haven't been doing the challenges apart from the ones that I ended up accidentally doing during the, uh, oh, same bit. So, tough stuff for Dome in the Plains, easy. Five thirty minutes in Cuba survival, easy. Three relics, easy. Eight zones of sanctuary onslaught, easy. Day Xmas, easy. Rare gems and planes, easy. Twelve conduits in disruption, easy. Enemies lost widen, easy. Vendors wares have been updated. Wait, what? Say that again. This vendors wares have been updated. Okay. It doesn't look like it. It looks like they've got bugger all. Just got the valve and parts, the Nutane extract, the Orokin catalyst, and the Orokin reactor. So why is it saying it's been updated? We've got new offerings in just over four hours. So that's BS. <clears throat> that's all we have time for. So outbreak missions completed. Zero three and Mars, zero three so Mars and Sedna. And where's Emissary Derelict Mobile Defense, which means the new boss would be in Sedna. Yeah you are. So he needs to go there and kick his ass twice, hopefully get the blade today and finish building that weapon. And then tomorrow, I will be saying goodbye to this individual because we will be making way for Atlas Prime. And hopefully. <clears throat> I get all the parts for him and Death Cube tomorrow. Oh, how convenient. I've got Death Cube Prime there as well. <laughs> Not Death Cube anyway, Death Cube Prime is tomorrow as well. Uh, and then we've got what well, everyone's been having a bit of a controversial decision about the Mod Drop Chance Booster is also part of the Prime Access Pack. Because they are supposedly or they already have nerfed the synergy between Necros Prime with his Desecrate and Hydroid and his Pilfering Swarm which was a good mod and component farming synergy but I've never once been in a mission where I've gone farming and actually encountered another hydroid. I've rarely seen a hydroid being used these days. Mostly everyone just takes a desecrate and shield of shadows necros and just goes Kuva farming. And for some people in early game I think this is probably gonna be an issue with the mod drop chances because of the nerf. But for most of us that have been playing it for like five or six years, 
we've got most of the mods we want or need. I mean, the only thing I really still need to get is adaptation because RNG hates me. But yeah, we've got to look forward to the prime version of this bad boy tomorrow. Uh, I made my predictions in an earlier video about what stats he might have in comparison, but we'll just have to wait and see. So, another fairly easy week of Nightwave, even though everyone should have pretty much got to rank 30 by now. And I'm just going to go do those invasion missions and hopefully get the last component for the path assist today. And then just wait till tomorrow for Atlas Prime. And with that being said, I shall see you all later.